Hi everyone, Sarah here. I have a little mini album to share with you guys. Um, it's not totally complete, but I'm just too excited to, <laughs> to wait. And I want to share it with you guys, and because I also haven't been sharing much lately, so I figured I would uh, get this video made um, to share with you. So this mini album is inspired by Erica. She's Scrap Diva 29 here on YouTube. I will put a link to the video that I saw. She made a mini album and it was with a graphic 45 um, tags and the tag die. And she followed a tutorial from Ginger, who is my sister Scrapper. Um, I'll also lo uh, link that video because she has the instructions on how to make it. Um, but that's making the size and shape that Erica made. Um, I don't have um, it's the large staples graphic 45 tags and I don't have those so I improvised with what I do have so I will show you my album first and then I'll show you what I use to make it and kind of uh, go through how to make it also with the tags that I used in case anyone's interested so um, I decided to make mine a kitty cat theme. <laughs> I love cats, so I decided I can put some pictures of my cats in this album. And I think it turned out super, super adorable. So on the outside cover, um, I do have, I'll show you the pattern paper I used also. I did just pick this up at Michael's. It's called uh, Rooftop Garden, and this is the Hot Buy paper pad. It has beautiful turquoises, pinks, corals, and black and cream. So I decided to use that. And that's the paper on the outside cover. It goes all the way around onto the back. I just added in some um, flower trim on my side. On the front, I have this scalloped die cut in the glitter paper and then a square, a stitched, I think it's a wonky stitch square of the pattern paper. The super adorable um, kitty cat. It's the uh, picture book kitty cat from Simon Says Stamp. And then this is a die set Fabulous Friend. This is from, um, sorry, I don't like to um all the time. <laughs> Conquered a Ninth. It's a die set that I hauled a while ago. These flowers are super, super old from my stash. I believe I bought them at Jamie's shop, at the Not Too Shabby shop. They are the Petaloo canvas flowers. I've been hanging on to them forever and I thought the colors were perfect for this. So I've added a couple flowers and then I put stickles on them also to make them a little bit shiny. I have these gems. I had picked up the big pack from Michaels, so I'm using the um, white iridescent ones. I did use some turquoise ones also with inside of the book. So that is the front, and then you just tie a ribbon to keep it closed in here. And there's like the you can see the top to see what the inside looks like. Super adorable. On the side here I added some washi tape and this piece of paper and then I stamped this saying you say crazy cat lady like it's a bad thing. <laughs> I used my Stamps of Life uh, sayings for cat. I also used some from this one. It's the cat pudgy. Fluffy cat pudgy. I also used the die for the mouse to die cut these little mice. This is a clearly besotted stamp set with the kitty cats. And then I used random dies from my uh, from my stash. So this circle was in the paper, but I die cut it with a stitch circle. The little kitties, all I did was stamp them on craft paper. And then I used some gel pens for their eyes. And these are the souffle gel pens, which come out um, very pastel and bright. Unfortunately, as I was using it, the ink was drying out because I've had them for so long. So some of them are, aren't as bright as the others, but they're super cute. And then this, sorry, I left this tag here. I just attached in the corner so that a picture can slide underneath. There's room there to write something on. So that's the first page. 
This one is pretty plain because I still don't know about pictures, but I have You're the Cat's Meow and the Little Mouse. This one, I used this die frame from my stash. I'm just going to go down like this. And I did only glue it on the two sides so that a picture can be slid right underneath the die. Sorry, the frame. There's a little mouse, the kitty cat, and some more rhinestones. And then for this one, I made a little belly band with this layered die set from my stash. There's some more tags. And then the kitty, the kitty and the mouse again. He's just so cute. And for this one, I have this frame and I just glued the two sides. Again, there's another kitty sticking out and some more of the rhinestones. For this one, I die cut a tag and I only glued it at the top. So again, picture can go underneath. It has a little hole in it, so I had the kitty's head poking out. Added in some gems and some twine. In the back, I made a little pocket, so it's just glued around the edges. And then when all else fails, take a nap. <laughs> and added some extra tags. And this is from the paper, this picture of the bicycle. I just added in these little hearts. They're actually the um, cutouts from inside of here. So I just used some of them in here to kind of glitz it up. So that is my little mini. Um, super cute. It's the perfect size. The inside pages are four and a quarter by four and a quarter square. So you can do some four by four pictures or even uh, smaller or just rectangles, stuff like that, whatever fits. So I will be right back um, with some instructions on how to put this little book together. Okay, so as I mentioned, I do not have the Graphic 45 Staples tags or the tag die, but I do have these um, Graphic 45 tags and they're Inspire, Create, and Imagine. Um, I have Ivory and then I have Craft. And basically what it is is these words were cut out of the, the tags, already die cut, and they came with a little ring so you could make a mini album out of them but I decided that this would be the perfect size to make a cute little mini album. So I am using two of these tags for my front and back covers. And what I did was um, flip to the other one backwards just, just because I want the, um, the ring to be on the outside for the front and back. So I did out, write out my instructions. I will put the sizes and scoring lines in the instructions or in the description box down below so that you guys have all of the information there. Okay, um, so you just need two tags. You can use any tags that you have or you can cut paper out, you can die cut, whatever you want. This was just simple and easy enough to use these existing tags and they gave me those little loops at the front so that I can tie a closure for my mini album. And then just need some cardstock to match which what with whatever color. So like I said, these ones I made made this one out of ivory, and then I also have the craft. So for the cover, you want your two tags, and then you're gonna cut a piece of paper that's four and a half by two and three quarters. You're gonna score at half an inch and two and a quarter. So these are the two score lines. And I'll put this front cover together for you so that you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. So that is the spine of your book. So you can just see there. That's my spine. I'm going to attach my covers to it. I just used white glue for mine. And basically I'm just going down the one side here and then the outside on my tag because it has a rounded edge. And then you just want to line it up with your score lines and your top and your bottom. Whoops. There we go. So you just want to attach that and then you're going to attach your other one.
like I said, super fast and easy. I actually was uh, almost had a whole bunch of <laughs> mini books made right away and I just stopped myself. Because you know me and my bulk, bulk crafting. So, ta-da, there is your cover. Super, super easy. So then on the inside, um, I did not cut them just yet to share with you guys, but I do have one here that I already finished and it's super, super easy to put together. Basically, you have three pieces of cardstock. This is number one, this is number two, and this is number three. So your pieces of cardstock, what I have used for these tags is four and a quarter by eight and three quarters, four and a quarter by nine and a quarter, and four and a quarter by nine and three quarters. So that's your nine and three quarters, nine and one quarter, eight and three quarters. And then you're gonna score them so that you have little gussets down at the end, and you're just gonna see that they tear from smallest to largest. So our score lines for the smallest one you're gonna score at four and a quarter and four and a half. So you just have quarter in the middle. For the second one, you're gonna score at four and a quarter and five. And then for the last one, you're gonna score at four and a quarter and five and a half. You're gonna fold them all up and then you're just going to glue them one on top of the other and just center them. Look at your edges when you're doing it and center it here and make sure that you're lined up and just glue all three together and then you can just glue it right into the spine of your book, right into the middle. That's it, you are done. You have made a mini album. All you need to do is decorate it. So for this one, because the pages are four and a quarter by four and a quarter, I just used a square, it was a wonky square stitched die that was four by four to decorate every single page. So I just picked a couple pieces of pattern paper, die cut all these squares, and then just placed them all in my book. So that was like super fast and done. And then basically you just have left as you're decorating, which is the hardest part for me. <laughs> I always wanna have my pictures and put them in and decorate with my pictures. But um, yeah, you can use some frames use tags, any of your die cuts, just to add in some uh, some fun accents to the inside of your book. All right, so that is it. Super cute, super fast. Um, hope you guys get a chance to uh, make yourself a mini album. Again, it doesn't have to be these tags, um, but the if you do have the large staple tags, check out the links below to my sister Scrapper. She has the instructions on how to make it because basically the tag is much longer so it you don't need extra cardstock for the middle. The tag actually creates it. Okay, all right. Any questions, comments? Thanks for watching and have a great day.